All right, let's get to that other race. Colorado's District 8. Denver 7's Megan Lopez joins us now in our election center. Uh, Kirk Meyer has conceded here. We just learned that within the last four minutes and uh, she tweeted that out. And so here's the tweet. I just pulled it up here on our computer. It says just a few minutes ago, I called Representative Caraveo to congratulate her on her win in CD8. While this is not the outcome we hope for, I am proud of our team and our campaign and thank all of the team, the countless volunteers, the folks who contributed and my family. Now, you might be wondering why would Barb Kirkmeyer concede when she's only about 1500 votes right now behind Yadira Caraveo? And I want to show you why it looks like this right now. This is a look at the Colorado Secretary of State's website. It just updated a few minutes ago. Uh, uh, Caraveo was about 4500 votes ahead, but that actually tightened to just 1500 votes within the last couple of minutes. Uh, but this is exactly the reason why Barb Kirkmeyer is conceding. While she might have been doing well in Larimer and Weld counties, like you're seeing with higher voter turnout for her, it's Adams County that's really making the difference because the bulk of this CD8 uh, voters happen to be in uh, Adams County. So I'm just going to click here and show you exactly what we're talking about. Uh, Yadira Caraveo has 64,794 votes in Adams County alone right now compared to Barb Kirkmeyer's 47,292. And there's a lot more that are going to be coming in. All three counties say that they got a whole bunch of ballots on Election Day, so they had a whole bunch of work ahead of them. But I do want to go ahead and pull up a statement from the Caraveo team that they just sent us a little bit ago and read it for you. It says, with Yadira in the lead and significantly more votes left to be counted in Adams than Weld, we are confident that once all of the votes have been counted, Yadira Caraveo will be the first congresswoman from Colorado's District 8. So again, it is Adams County here that is the real story that is going to be uh, the one that drives Caraveo's win, really. Now, the other interesting thing, again, all those votes were kind of coming in at the last minute, so still a lot of work to be processed through. Uh, but, but, you know, this was interesting because 538 had put it in Kirkmeyer's favor. They had said that she was favored to win. So this is a big upset right now anyway for Colorado. And it was a race that had a lot of national attention. So this is a really big deal. Shannon. Yes, a big deal. Bombshell at the top of the six o'clock broadcast. Megan, thank you very much.